Since I have installed this project using Composer, blank theme, and Luma theme will be located inside vendor. Magento. And we will find the themes we are looking for, all the way to the bottom of this directory. Directory theme front and blank is the blank theme, and theme front and Luma is the Luma theme. There are two files each theme must have in order for the system to know we are trying to build a theme. The first file is registration.php. And the second file is theme.xml. If we switch back to the IDE and open the Luma theme, we will notice the two files we just talked about. Let's open both these files. Now it's time to recreate these files in our new theme and analyze what each one of these two files does. The theme that I will develop will be located in the app, design, front end directory. Let's go ahead and create a directory underneath that named webverse. And let's create a subdirectory named 10. Webverse is the vendor name, and 10 is the theme name. Usually the vendor is named after the company which will create the theme. In my case it will be named after my YouTube channel. How you name the vendor and theme is totally up to you. Inside the new theme, we need to create the two files we just mentioned earlier. Registration.php and theme.xml. We're going to copy the registration.php and theme.xml of the Luma theme and make slight alterations that will fit our case. Let's copy and paste the content of registration.php first. In the component name, Magento is the name of the vendor, so I will replace it with Webverse and Luma with 10 since 10 is the name of the new theme. Now I'll do the same with theme.xml file. Let's copy and paste the content from Luma. Here I will change the title node with whatever title I want to give to the theme. Luma has blank theme as its parent as you can see from the parent node. 10 theme will have Luma as a parent, so I will replace blank with Luma. Media is not a required node, so I will completely remove it. After saving both files, we can now visit the admin panel of our project in order to view and activate the new theme. As mentioned in the previous video, all the available themes can be viewed in Content, Themes. Looks like 10 theme is now an available theme that we can apply. To do that we need to go to Content, Configuration. We're going to edit the global scope. Choose 10 theme. Save configuration. And let's flush the cache. After doing all these steps, the new theme should be applied. If we switch to storefront, we will see exactly the same view as we did when we applied Luma theme. This is normal. 10 theme at the moment has inherited everything from Luma, but we have not made any changes to the new theme. Modifying the 10 theme will be a topic for the upcoming videos. I'm going to end this video here. As always, thanks for watching.